everything for Team Liquid, which will uh, be really hard to work up against Cloud9, who is just going to almost bulldoze right through you with that team composition. So, Gen versus Fiora uh, would potentially favor the Fiora. So, it could actually be Cloud9 who was initiated. This is that first tower going for Cloud9? Team Liquid should answer shortly in the bottom lane. Yeah, jungle efficiency. Let's see who's higher right now. Looking to dual Meteos. Those would be good. It would reduce his damage. It would reduce the damage of Ash as well. And we know Dardoch really likes to get up in the other jungler's face. And could try, but the first strike does indeed go to Team Liquid. Yeah. And it's very important that Cloud9 can get something back for that. And with Shen in the top lane with the ulti. Matt now tagged again. Drake goes over to Cloud9. A buddy Fufu -fu falls it in. All the he way wants in. to try and CC Matt. But now I think he has to bail. Does take some damage. Is it here? C9 not ready to defend. And the first mid lane turret does actually go to Team Liquid. And in a round on a commit for a steal. They do not, though. Cloud9 do take Drake number two for themselves. The team look game win conditions that they're confident in being able to achieve. Well, big binding there for Matt, but no initiation there for Liquid. Tar targeting oh, this up could be it. Starting to lose a 1v1. Impact, look to go back in. The grand challenge, but Impact hey! the taunt, And there's your first blood. Impact, well, there's your... Can now really start to abuse the global power of Shen here. Trying to play a bit of a 1 4 as Impact's gonna get the push. Data Jensen, though, down and sneaky. Goes down Whoa. to Phoenix. Now Data moving back in his mat. Tags two with the bar. Ulti Impact, though, charges his way into the damage from Jensen's pretty big. Cloud9 maybe looking to go back in, but the ulti goes wide for Bunny for. Decide not to go for that Drake. It will actually go to Team Liquid. Look at Mountain Drake number two for themselves. Steal enough through his ultimate and through just base lifesteal that Cloud9 is gonna be forced into making a move. Cloud9 hasn't been able to make a move before that. That point is not here yet, no. obviously. But watch this, watch his ability to fight back here. Maybe he could get it, but Sneaky actually once again, Dueling Phoenix flashes oh! out, looking for the outplay! Needs a few more orders, but there's Shen gonna join in for it. Phoenix, who ulti, oh, he does tick down. But now they have to make sure they get the kill here. Matt's also there, the taunt's gonna land, Bunny Fufu lands a Winter's Bite in. Impact does get the kill, and Sneaky lives. And now Matt looks to be caught out of position, ulties and tries to flash out. But he hits himself, the gravity field's there, and Sneaky's gonna get a kill. Wow, so a lot of greed going on there, actually. So Dardock would have a steal chance if he goes. They wait, they're patient for it, and now just gonna try and kill Dardock, but it's actually not enough. Yeah. Getting low, but Meteos does get it. Dardock falls as well in collateral. Once again, Meteos make effective at the end, and now C9 looking to make their play. This was the Razor's Edge. Uh, one side of the Razley hold with five or with four right now, especially because Lorlo is over there trying to push the wave. At the moment, though, they're actually looking to trade stuff. Yeah, Fabi actually forced to burn the ulti. Spell Shield down as well as Cloud9 is looking to break open mid. It does go down. This in Hib's also going to follow. Lolo is not going to do enough damage in top lane on his own. C9 just happily break mid in Hib. Lolo is going to get one target. Cloud9, though, continuing to siege this bottom lane tier two. The tension is going straight forward. He's actually just going to look for Matt with the ulti. Pulse is there. Whoa. Arrow gets a sniper sneaky. Lichbane Rylai's right there is not drawing extra tension. These pushes are becoming easy for Cloud9. Yeah, and they're just going to keep charging in. Meteos quick draws forward towards Dardock and Phoenix as another inhib's going to fall down. Impact and all are still on a merry. Got the TP up soon as well for Impact, so global pressure still there. Dardock may be caught. Impact gets a taunt down. Now Bunny Fufu going to chase in. Matt in the area, but a good double binding is going to keep them out of the way. Magical Journey does escape. Doesn't necessarily do that because it's been so macro in the execution. Like, it just shows that Cloud9 can still communicate. Just need to find a few more minutes to hold, and then maybe they can reset the game enough to try and pull it back. But Sneaky Arrow's in, looks for Phoenix and finds him. Bunny Fufu, though, going to eat the Tempered Fate from Bard. Finally's going to find him as well, but Impact goes straight into the back line, and Cloud9's going to charge forward and try and take a turret. Impact uses the ulti, gets out onto Meteor's Team Liquid hold for now. Yeah, not a great push there by Cloud9. Look like impacts, but they need to be able to walk through Sneaky, yep. who's just pegging them with volleys. It's a commit. TL teleport in. Bard ulti there, but C9 just peel, peel back and reset. Yeah, and now they've gotten Norlo's teleport and the split push pressure. <laughs> that just kind of goes to show the difference in the Drakes right now and how it would apply to strategy. But Team Liquid actually trying Ooh. to make a push in the mid lane. Very risky. Oh, impact. Huge on actually, and now the arrow nails Phoenix as well. Can they take him out? They can! Doesn't use his ulti, and now Cloud9 leap forward and take out Lolo as GA is going to pop on the bottom side of your screen. Jensen and Impact going to stay around to finish it off, but Lolo flashes out to safety, and that was disaster for Team Liquid as Lolo is going to get hunted down. Yeah, just I think a big strategic mistake, Ooh. and Lolo misses Jensen. his hop over the Drake pit. Which lends Jensen finishing off. I think that's going to be game pastry. Another massive play by Impact. I want to see that again because it was just at the very bottom of the screen. But really, potentially a game-winning taunt. Huge, 
huge taunt there a c9 break mid and just look to charge forward and finish off the game death time is a long late into this one and cloud nine gonna try and finish off this nexus yeah dardock and fab are gonna try to say something about that though it's an ulti there from bunny fufu dardock tanking in the front line bunny fufu though lift through it all and matt's forced to flash out of the way cloud nine gonna take out one nexus turret looking for number two as fabi and matt Looking for a miracle hold. That's the trickiest thing against Sivir, though, is one ricochet and the wave is potentially gone in Clifford. He can't fully collapse down here, but Phoenix, Matt, and Fabi will be here. And because of how low C9 is, Team Liquid's going to go. They got sneaky. Fabi looking in again, but doesn't follow up with the binding. C9 just going to hold off on this. Can TL steal this without a smite? Matt's going to get chunked out. Jensen's going to wipe him off the rip. Baron goes over to Cloud9, and now Phoenix getting chased down as... Damage is there. Yep, someone got revived, but Fabi dies again. <laughs> yeah. I was like, who's that? Oh, it's Fabi. Dying in the back line after Chrono Shift. In five or four, Fabi's still dead. Yep, C9 gonna look to take this down. TL, very difficult defense, and it will not happen this time around. Cloud9 gonna take the Nexus and game number one. And when you look at the scoreboard after this game, it's gonna look like an incredibly dominant victory for Cloud9. And in a lot of ways, it was. And the fact that they didn't make strategic mistakes, and the fact that nobody died, and the fact that Team Liquid was never really in a position to win, but it was also a very long game yes. for these guys. And Team Liquid was hoping that Lorlo was going to be able to carry in the late game, but that just never came to fruition. Lorlo made a couple of mistakes down